Occasionally, you may need to resize a video input to match the rest of your inputs. Many of us have experienced connecting a laptop, for example, that does not fill the whole screen. This is easily accomplished by the VR50 HD since there are scalers on each input. Press the menu button to the right of the touchscreen. Then choose the video channel that needs scaling. A menu will appear allowing you to change between scaling options of letterbox, crop, and dot by dot, or choose manual and use the parameters below to size and position the picture just right. Color correction is also available from this menu. Press the exit button once to return to the main menu. The video output menu allows for many routing options to be chosen. Touch the output option under the video menu. Here, you can set the format of the output, adjust the output scaling, and assign what source will be on your aux bus. Press the arrow in the lower right-hand corner of the screen to move on to the next page of the menu. Here, you can assign each of your physical outputs to carry the program, preview, or aux signal. Notice the preview option is not available for the RGB component outputs. An example of how you can use the aux bus is in a presentation environment. Say you have a laptop in RGB format plugged into your video 2 input. The laptop is running a PowerPoint presentation that is being used as a picture-in-picture -picture overlaid on a camera shot of the presenter. This mix is being streamed out the USB. However, the room where the presentation is being held needs to show the PowerPoint on a large screen for the in-house audience. Here, there is no need for the audience to see the presenter with the picture-in-picture. -picture. They just need to see the PowerPoint. This setup is easily accomplished with the VR50 HD by first setting the aux bus source to be your input to, then moving over a page, and setting one of your HDMI outputs to aux. Now the computer source is being used as a picture-in-picture -picture for the streaming output and is being output directly via HDMI to the in-house monitor.